Hello everyone, this is Duck here, and welcome back to another Micro Fredson video. In this one, we're going to take a look at the second best block in the game, the Observer. In case of you who are wondering, the Honey Block is by far the best block in the game right now, because it's absolutely amazing. You can actually have big piston doors in Bedrock Edition now. Anyway, back to what I was saying. We're going to do a tutorial on how to use the Observer and what specific mechanics you need to know when you're placing observers down as it's very quirky in bedrock edition and you will need to know all of this stuff so let's crack on with the tutorial shall we now the first thing is something i actually quite dislike and that is the fact that this observer it sends a redstone signal through the little hole right here when it's placed down its normal function is to only send a redstone signal when a block update happens. For example, when a block is placed right next to it, or when uh, when this repeater, if this repeater got powered, that would also give it a redstone. Uh, it would also give this a redstone output. But it, I really don't like this. It just it powers when it's placed down. I mean, that was a little bit late, but it still happens, and. There are a couple things that it does detect, like it detects block updates, but also detects whether crops grow, such as wheat. Um, wheat's not very useful though when it comes to crop growing. Um, you can use observers for bamboo and sugarcane farms. Those are probably the best uses. But one of the things I really like about the observer is a, is a dual aid. A dual edge monostable circuit, which means that. Give me a second. If we powered this redstone dust, it gives a very small output at the beginning and or on the rising edge. And when you unpower the redstone dust, it gives a small amount of redstone on the falling edge. So that's also something to look out for in your redstone contraptions. I'm really hoping that they fix the thing where it powers when it's placed, because that makes it very hard to use the observer. Um, observers can be linked in a way like this, so that if this, if this iron block right here give, gave it a redstone output, eventually this would have a redstone output. They all fire one tick right after each other, which is very useful. Um, you can also set up a, <laughs> um a redstone clock just like that although it's easier to just use a redstone comparator clock which is, which is cheaper too I mean I think <laughs> I forgot um that's mostly it apart from the fact that I'm just gonna give a quick uh, learning thing for Java edition and that is the fact that when powered by an observer Sticky pistons, and this is one of the few things I love about Java Edition that I wish they had, is that it spits out their block. It doesn't do this in Bedrock Edition. No, it just moves it and then moves it back. I mean, seriously, why is this a thing? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Also, another thing you can do is you can just go up here place this right here and when this is updated this does not get a redstone output because it's going through a block and it's hard power I have a, I'm not sure if I've explained hard powering and soft powering yet on this channel you know what, I'll do that in the next video and the next video after that will be about locking repeaters anyway that is pretty much it for the observer um, let me know if it actually made any sense to you in the comments below. I'm trying to think. Did I miss anything? Anyway, uh, thank you guys all so much for this, um, uh, bleh. Worst after I've done in my life. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been Doc Aaron, and I'm out. See you all later. Wow. That was the worst outro I've ever done in my life. Ugh, did you hear all that stuttering? Wow. I need to work better on that.